Welcome to How To Fridays. Let's start to audit changes using Microsoft's native tools. Let's make some changes to files and then uh, audit our actions. First, let's delete file cache 2013. Then let's edit cache on the bar 2011. Now let's create a new file named cache 2012. And now let's change permissions to the file PNL. Here we will, we will grant full access to Bill Lloyd. With all that done, now let's audit our actions. So open Event Viewer to the Security Event Log and filter your log for Event ID 4670 to monitor permission changes. We see that PNL 2011 XLS has its permission changed by administrator account, but we cannot determine the exact changes. Now let's filter the log by event ID 4663 so we can check uh, the accesses to the folders. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here, so let's try to find the logs related to our folder. We need to look for events with removable storage task category set. Now we can see that the administrator has access accounting and finance folder and nothing more specific. Let's go further and filter our log for event ID 4656 to determine actions made to these files. Here we have to dig a little harder. We also need to set our find with the removable storage category and that will take some time for sure. Okay, here we can see that new Microsoft Excel Worksheet XLS X was created, read and removed. But basically, we just renamed it. So let's continue digging. And here we go. Cache on the bar 2011 was read and some information was written to it. We can also see that we failed to delete this file somehow, even though we didn't try to do that. Interesting. Strange, but there's nothing related to our cache 2013 file deletion. So as you can see, Auditing file changes on a shared drive is a real pain. Moreover, in order to get these events being tracked, you need to enable auditing in your group policy and in your folder's advanced security settings.